I would like to talk about a little about the status of spine surgery in Iran. This is the our university in the Iran. This, this is the one of the famous square in the Iran, in the Tehran Azadi Square. Next, please. I, uh, for introduction, as you know, spine surgery varies significantly across the world, and each country exhibits uh, unique approaches shaped by an era of the factors such as training programs, medical personnel, hospital infrastructure, technological advancement, and industrial influences. Next, please. And uh, in Iran, these elements combine to create the distinct spine surgery landscape rich in its uh, practices and challenges. Explore uh, the current state of spine surgery in Iran, offering insight into its educational background, practical approaches, and technological capability. Next, please. In Iran, spine-related conditions are managed by a range of medical interventions are reserved for spine surgeons. Neurosurgery, demanding five years residency, offers extensive training in spine surgeries, focusing predominantly on the generative spinal condition. Next, please. However, the curriculum often provides limited exposure to deformative surgeries, which are more comprehensively covered in the dedicated spine surgery fellowship programs. And these fellowships lasting about one and a half years are open, uh, please, are open uh, to both neurosurgery and orthopedic uh, graduates aiming to bridge gaps in residency training by focusing on areas like deformity correction for neurosurgeon and neural elements management for orthopedics. Next, please. After completing their studies, neurosurgeons are required to undergo a two-year obligatory community service period. Their placement is dedicated by the Minister of Health and Education range from teaching hospitals in the large cities to hospitals in a smaller town with only basic surgical facilities. This service, this service period is uh, pivotal in shaping their early surgical experience, particularly in spine surgeries, as they often work in environments with limited resources and high patient demands. Next, please. Uh, for service delivery in Iran, with a popula population close to about 9 million, has more than 1,500 neurosurgeons and about 100 spine surgery fellowship graduates. The spine surgeries are provided in two main settings, one in the public and governmental hospitals and two in private hospitals. Next, please. The public hospitals includes both teaching and non-teaching hospitals with teaching hospitals located primarily in the largest cities and offering the advantage of having attending surgeons, residents, and fellows. In contrast, non-teaching hospitals, especially in small cities, often have a single neurosurgeon managing the entire surgical load. Next, please. Private hospitals, predominant in urban areas, provide an alternative, but are absent in the smaller cities. Thus, public hospitals, especially in small cities, are critical in delivering spine surgery services, often staffing by newly graduated surgeons, fulfilling their obligatory county service. Next, please. The high incidence of road accidents in Iran result in numerous spinal injuries, necessitating efficient and accessible spine care. Public hospitals offer free treatment for road accident victims, including necessary spinal surgeries as part of a policy aimed at reducing post-accident disabilities and ensuring uh, equitable care irrespective of patient's financial status. Next, please. As a result, young surgeons in these centers play a crit crucial role in the primary approaches to patients with traumatic spine injury. Within these trauma centers, 
Surgeons employ various fusion and fixation techniques to address spinal trauma cases. Next, please. In thoracolumbar surgery, the, the, the predominant fusion techniques involve the use of pedicles, screws, and rods inserted through open procedure approaches. Meanwhile, for cervical spinal surgery, it is commonly employed fusion techniques to include lateral masses, screw, pedicular screw, and the cages for anterior cervical discectum and fusion, ACDF. Next, please. In lumbar spine, is the, uh, the most common site of surgical intervention, a condition like this herniation, spinal stenosis, and instabilities being prevalent. Traditional Open midline approaches dominate the surgical landscape with some surgeons employing microdiscectomies using conventional retractor power. The adoption of minimally invasive spinal techniques such as tool or, or endoscopic discectomy is rare, primarily due to the lack of specialized training and necessary instruments. Next, please. A variety of spinal instrumentation, including pedicular screw for cervical spine, for lateral mass screw, transforminal and posterior interbody cages, as well as expandable and mesh corpectomy cages and plates, is abundantly available. The utilization of the anterior and lateral interbody fusion techniques is infrequent, primarily due to gaps in formal training and the sexicity of specialized instruments. Next, please. We are over seven minutes, just for instance. Okay. While well, deformative surgery was uh, once primarily performed by orthopedic spinal surgeon over the past decade, no spine surgeon have made significant advancement in this field. Next, please. Uh, MIS spinal techniques uh, procedure are usually performed by spinal surgeon and pain physician. This procedure is usually performed around the CR, ultrasound, or endoscopy assisted system. In Iran, we have about uh, 550 pain fellowship graduates. Next, please. The pain fellowship lasts about one and a half year and is open to anesthesiology by focusing on areas such as Percutan laser discompression, CS, interarticular palm, carfoplasty, injection, for epidural, lepidroscopy, and radio frequency. Next, please. Uh, neurosurgeons and pain physicians interested in uh, pursuing advanced MI seeking, such as endoscopy procedure, for example, transframinal interlinear projects, and IPD implantation, frequency fusion, often rely on self-directed learning through short courses or, or workshops. Next, please. The adoption of MI surgery in Iran is lagging due to a lack of MI in the formal spine surgery curriculum and the availability of specialized instruments. And the limited advanced MI procedures performed by neurosurgeon in Iran are mainly confined to using tubular retractors or endoscopic assistance systems. Next, please. While spine endoscopic systems are available in Iran, their utilization remains limited to a small group of neurosurgeon and pain physicians. This restriction is primarily attributed to the lack of formal training opportunity and the high cost associated with acquiring these systems. Next, please. And this is my final uh, slide. The landscape of spine surgery in Rouen, characterized by its handling of high patient volume and a common spine condition, facing challenges and opportunity for advancement, and the integration of modern surgical techniques like MS surgery, endoscopic approaches, and robotic assist surgery is gradual, primarily due to gaps in training and limited access to advanced equipment. Thank you very much.